Hello again, and in this episode of Rules Review, I'll be asking you if you want to join me into a walk in the forest. This walk is a little bit different because we are talking about photosynthesis. In this game, we are taking the role of Mother Nature, spreading seeds into the ground and wait for the sunlight to give them energy to grow until they are big trees. Don't forget, I won't be talking about the base rules, I won't be teaching you how to play the game. Instead, I'll be answering the frequent asked questions about this game. I'll be talking about how you can spread your seeds in the board, how you can collect energy from the shade and light spaces. At the end, I'll be talking about the advanced rules of this game. Let me just start with a, a rule that is very important throughout the entire game. A space in the main board can't be activated or used more than once in your turn. So... I said what I said! Let's start from the beginning, planting seeds. You can spread seeds in a linear or non-linear way around the tree. Just count as many spaces as the height of your tree and plant your seeds. When you perform this action, ignore the other trees, yours or the others. Imagine there's an open field around the tree, but keep in mind you can't sow in an occupied space by a tree or another seed. Remember that when you spread a seed from a tree, that space where the tree is, it has been activated that turn. So you cannot activate that spot again in your current turn. You have to wait until your next turn to be able to activate it again. Now the question is about the growing action. See this example. In the same turn, a player can give the chop in a tree, bring it to its personal board, placing it on the topmost available space, earn one scoring token with the same number of leaves as the space where the tree was. And buy it again, placing it on the main board again. This is completely legal. Be aware, remember the rule that you cannot forget for playing well this game. You cannot activate it, a spot or a space in the main board more than once. So you have to do all these actions in different spots. And of course you have to have energy to pay for these actions. Now the doubts about the photosynthesis phase. You already know that in this phase your trees maybe uh, give you energy for your next turn. And I say it maybe because it will depend on the condition of the light and shade. Let's see some examples. In this example I have a line of trees with the same height. Only the first one gets light points, all the others are in the shadow. In this next example, a small tree and a medium tree are adjacent. A small tree casts a one space shadow over the medium tree, but because this tree is higher than the first one, it still collects light points. But let's see more examples. Here, the blue tree is in the shadow of the yellow tree. The large tree casts a three spaces shadow. The large tree casts a three spaces shadow. The medium tree makes shadow over the small one. Now let's see questions about the end scoring. At the end of the game you will collect the points that you have in your tokens plus a number of points depending on how many light you still have in your personal board. The rule is one point, one victory point for three points of light in your personal board. I'm saying this because there are copies of the games that have personal boards that lead in some confusion about this rule. Do you still have questions about the advanced rules? One of them is, can you collect a tree that is in the shade? The answer is, you cannot collect that tree. Because collecting a tree is part of the growing tree action. The advanced rules does not allow you to do that action in a shade space. Remember that you can still put a seed in a shaded space if that seed comes from a tree in the light. 
And now the rules you cannot forget to play this game. You can't do more than one action in a given space in your turn. When you take trees from the board, you have to place them in your personal board in the topmost space available. When you take a tree or a seed from the main board and you don't have any space in your personal board, that tree or seed has to go to the box, so it's out of the game. If you collect a tree from the forest and there aren't any scoring tokens that match the space where the tree was, you won't receive any points for that tree. Any energy points earned in a given turn that goes above 20 is lost. So how many items can a space hold? Only one, or a seed, or a tree. A tree in the shadow still produces its own shadow. When you are playing this game with only two players, uh, put the scoring tokens with four leaves in the box. Guys, that's all about photosynthesis. I hope that this tiny video helped you get better experience when playing this game. Feel free to leave a comment beneath or if you want, subscribe the channel. Goodbye and have a nice time playing games.